नानम परमम धेयम नॉलेज इज सुप्रीम so today is the last lecture and we are left to prove two important characterization of noise uh, dedekind domains so the first theorem this is the theorem we stated last time but we did not prove so let a be an integral domain then the following are equivalent one um, a is normal and cruel dimension of a is smaller equal to 1 uh, let me remind you when we say normal that includes noetherianness so when we said a is normal domain that means a is a noetherian integrally closed domain two um a is noetherian and uh, for every prime ideal p a localized p is a dvr for every non zero p p a prime ideal the uh, dvr and three um, every fractionary ideal ideal in a okay so just recall uh, fractionary ideal means it's a a sub module of a quotient field of a uh, who has a common denominator and invertible means so fractionary ideals they form a monoid and then uh, the element is invertible means they the inverse in that monoid so let us first finish of the proof of this equivalence so proof um i am going to prove one if and only if two and two if and only if three this is what we will prove so let us first prove one implies two um a is normal so no ethereum dimension is less equal to 1 so there can only be prime ideal of height 0 or height 1 so uh, if it is uh, non zero prime ideal then it has to have height 1 because it's a domain and therefore um, localization which will be normal of dimension 1 that is precisely d here so this one is really clear so but i will write few lines since a is normal a is noetherian um and let p non zero prime ideal uh, then height of p has to be 1 because height is at it is at most 1 so it can't be if it is 0 it is a zero prime ideal but it's a non zero prime ideal so its uh, height is 1 so ap a localized p is normal because a is normal localization of normal is normal and hence 
dvr because normal domain uh, normal integrally closed dimension 1 they are dvrs okay so 1 implies 2 2 implies 1 so we want to prove the dimension from these given conditions we want to prove a is integrally closed and the dimension is less equal to 1 so let's see about dimension so dimension of a is by definition supremum of height p as p varies in the spectrum this is the definition of the cool dimension uh, which is sup instead of height i will write the cool dimension of a localized at p p in spec a so all these for non zero primes we have given that by 2 a localized at p is dvr so for non zero primes this dimension is 1 and for zero prime it's a quotient field so therefore it is actually equal to 1 so it's less equal to 1 by 2 uh, now we need to prove that uh, it's integrally close um, and also okay so therefore every prime ideal associated to a non zero ideal in A has a height equal to 1. Now there are two possibilities only 0 or non 0, 0 or height 1. So if it is associated to non 0 ideal it has to have height 1. Uh, therefore we have proved earlier that uh, A is normal. This is put earlier. Uh, so that proves uh, one if and only if two. Now two implies three. So three says every fraction in ideal is invertible, and two we have given it's an Euclidean. Every localization at non-zero prime ideal is a DVR. Okay, so start with the fraction in ideal. We want to prove it is invertible. Let A containing K, this is a quotient field of A, be a fraction in ideal. Uh, that means it is K A sub module of K which has a common denominator then by multiplying by common denominator d times a uh, i can uh, this is contained in a now this is an ideal usual ideal this is an ideal in a for some d d is in a d is non zero that is because it's a fraction ideal uh, now uh, if I want to prove this fraction a ideal is invertible, it is enough to prove that this d a is invertible because if I prove d a is invertible, then d is already invertible. Therefore, multiplying by its inverse of d, you will get so enough to prove that d times a is invertible. In other words, we can assume that the given fractional ideal is actually an integral ideal. Okay. So now since A is Noetherian, uh, 
this let us call this d a to be b, b is finitely generated ideal. But once it is finitely generated, this colon operation will commute with the localization. For this, for this equality, we need finitely generated. So once the colon operation commutes for every prime ideal p. Uh, if p is 0, it is a field and if p is non-zero, this a p is a dvr that is what we have given in 2. So, in particular when p is non-zero for p non-zero, since a p is a dvr, this ideal b p is principal. In particular, it is invertible, um, and hence invertible. Note that the quotient field of A and quotient field of AP is the same, so everything is happening in uh, K. So for for non-zero P, it's invertible, and we already know who is the expected inverse. So a localized P is same as B P times A colon A localized P colon B P uh, colon B localized P. This is because it is invertible, but this this now uh, the localization commutes with the colon operation because we are in an Euclidean case. So this is same as B times a colon b and then whole thing localized at p. So at every localization they are equal and we have already seen one is contained in the other uh, namely this, this product was contained in a therefore uh, we conclude from here that a equal to b times a colon b. So that sh that shows that that is B is in OTP. So that proves two implies three. Now three implies two. Two we need to prove that A is Noetherian, and at every localization non-zero at prime ideal every localization is a d here all right so 3 plus 2 so since every we have proved every fine every invertible ideal this we proved last time every invertible ideal is finitely generated Uh, just uh, yesterday we put this um, uh, in particular every uh, every um, ideal is finitely generated so a is an Ethereum. because every integral uh, the assumption 3 is Every fractional ideal is invertible. So, in particular, every ideal is invertible, and every invertible ideal is finitely generated. Therefore, every ideal is finitely generated. Therefore, A is Noetherian. Um, and now, so we have proved A Noetherian. Now we want to prove that um, every localization at a non-zero prime ideal is a DVR. So, start with a non-zero prime ideal. So, P is fractionary ideal, 
is integral therefore fractionary and uh, therefore by assumption 3 this is by 3 p is in vertical therefore the localization is in vertical Uh, but uh, that shows that uh, the maximal ideal is invertible, so that shows that AP is uh, DVR. Because yesterday we have seen that um, if you have a local Noetherian local domain, then A is a DVR if and only which maximal ideal is invertible. That was the only one you have to check only one ideal is invertible. So that proves. 3 implies 2 and that finishes the proof of this theorem and now we want to uh, prove that uh, this so these 3 conditions so this is the 1 2 3 so in addition to these 3 I want to add one more condition here namely every ideal is a product of prime ideals and this decomposition is a unique. So, which will generalize the standard theorem on prime factorization for the ring of integers. So, uh, this is the theorem we want to prove. So, theorem. Um, A is a integral domain, an integral domain. A is a Dedekind domain, A is a DD, if and only if every ideal of A is a product of prime ID. and a uniqueness I will state in a more precise form in the corollary. So, proof ok. So, uh, we will prove this way first. So, we are assuming A is a Dedekind domain. So, suppose that A is a DD. and let A be a non-zero ideal in A. Now, what we want to do? We want to prove that A is a product of prime ideals. For every non-zero prime ideal, Because A is a DD and the earlier theorem says that for every non zero prime ideal A localized at P is a DVR by earlier theorem. Um, and this this is a DVR where P A P is the maximum ideal there and um, if I if I choose uh, this A, if A is contained in P, then this A extension of A in the localization, this is a proper ideal, and this will be now it's a power of that maximal ideal because A P is a DVR, and if A were not contained in A P, then it's a unit ideal then it is we have nothing nothing to worry about. So, in this case this is P A P and with some power that power I want to denote by V P A and in this case this V P A 
is non negative and clearly that this V p is so clearly V p a is positive if and only if a is contained in p if and only if a a localized p is contained in p a localized all these are clear uh, so therefore uh, locally it's a power of a actually a prime ideal okay so now uh, note that the uh, dedicand domain has dimension less equal to 1 since dimension of a is less equal to 1 uh, uh, minimal prime uh, minimal prime uh, containing a will belong to belongs to the associated primes of A by A and therefore now you see it can have only the finite this one is a finitely many associated primes are finitely many so it has at most finite number of prime ideals so there are at most finitely many prime ideals containing A. Remember A we are assuming non zero because if A is zero there is nothing to prove. So there therefore so this means that is V P of A is non zero only for finitely many prime ideals. Or in other words, this VPA is zero for almost all. Therefore, so thus, if I take the product, product in product is running over P. P power VPA. This makes sense because this product is only finitely many primes in this. So, these are because this symbol is non zero only for finitely many p's. So, this product is indeed finite product, and if I call this, this is clearly an ideal. If I call this ideal B, B is a product of prime ideals, and now I will prove that B equal to A. Once we prove B equal to A, we are done. So, we will prove. B equal to A. First of all, note that uh, this B is uh, B is contained in A. Or if I want to prove B equal to A, uh, I will prove that their localizations are equal. So, if you localize B A P. That means I have to localize this product. This is a finite product. And if I localize this product comes with the localization, only one of them will survive because these p's are different. So this is same as p power v p a. But this is same as a a localized p. That is what we have noted above. That this is a DVR. And therefore, this ideal is a power of that maximal ideal, and the power is denoted by this. So, this one 
or oh, here. Yes, yes, here I have to write AP. So, therefore, um, that proves B equal to A. So, that localization they are equal and therefore, it proves this implication. If it is a dedicant domain, then every ideal is a product of prime ideals. Conversely, converse is little bit more involved. So, conversely, uh, we will need, we will use some lemmas. So, we will start proving them one by one, uh, two or three lemmas. They are simple, but you need to prove them. And if you observe very carefully, this proof is an imitation for the fundamental, uh, the same proof like fundamental theorem of arithmetic. Same ideas, only the numbers are replaced by the ideals.